What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with my wife Kristen, and today we did Table Mountain in Grand Teton National Park, but only the summit is. The rest of it is in the Jedediah Smith Wilderness. So the trail starts out over at the Teton Canyon Campground, and from there um, just uh, starts out in kind of an older growth forest, and uh, quickly goes into the Aspens. It gains about 400 feet or so right away, like, so it, it gets you sweating pretty quickly. And uh, as you work up through that, it starts to get into some forests and then it just has a little bit of, um, a couple of pocket meadows initially. And then gradually you just start working up into these really cool uh, meadows and you start to look up at the hillside, which is really pretty. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really awesome balance, awesome mix of these big meadows and really cool views and just the forest and anyways you just work up and some sections after that initial steep part some sections are um, just kind of go up and down but always gradually up and um, you every once in a while you get to go ahead and see the north fork of the Teton Creek and uh, you just yeah just keep working up and the views just they really do just keep opening up as you work your way um, up that canyon and uh, as we continued to work our way up with the fall colors. Um, eventually you get to little peaks of Table Mountain and uh, just some of the mountains at the head wall. And then you cross over the creek after a few miles up. And uh, from there, it uh, gets into some older forests as you get onto the south facing slopes of Table Mountain. And then, uh, and then it starts to kind of open up as you look to see the next big switchback section that you get to do. And um, that definitely is some work as you kind of work your way up and it'll do some little switchbacks and then, you know, some good nice traverses. But um, as it gains elevation, it just gets bigger and bigger and you get to see um, just Table Mountain and all the surrounding ridge lines. They're just really, really beautiful. Um, and we came to a little section with a bunch of pikas, which was awesome and uh, just finally broke out into more of that alpine feel where there's just no trees and um, just lots of views all the way around. So as you're catching your breath, there's lots to see. So anyways, that was really great. And finally, we popped up onto the ridge of Table Mountain, did this really cool traverse across this face. And then, then we met up with the face trail, which I'll talk more about. But now at this point, you are a couple of miles away from the summit and about another thousand vertical feet. So you definitely aren't there yet, trust me. But it's really great. You're just walking across this really um, wide open uh, flat mountain basically. And there are some really cool views at the very beginning, especially looking down north um, as you're just kind of checking out the, walking along the rim basically. And uh, anyways, but yeah, you just start working your way up. And as you get closer and closer, you start just to see more and more mountains, bigger and bigger views, super great. And then you'll also cross over a couple of tricky footing sections. It's just kind of random how some of these rocks are. I don't know, I've never seen um, rocks in geology like this before, but it's really kind of interesting, but there's just this one really big shale section. And then after the shale, you just continue on the really open ridge line, and um, gradually the, it gets steeper and steeper and uh, until you get right up to um, the actual cliffy part of the mountain. And then finally you summit, and man, it is awesome. The views around are super amazing. Oh man, they are just, at, just looking at the three Tetons, it's just like a front row room there and um there's also a lot of really other cool things you get to see mount moran further north you get to see schoolroom glacier over by hurricane pass and there's just it's really fun just to um just to pick out a lot of those different places but anyways really huge views um i actually like summiting more in the afternoon on this one because the lighting is better on the teton so that's just a little photography nugget for you so on our way down, we vacillated on whether or not we wanted to do the face route, which is a really steep route, but we decided to do it anyway. So we started working our way down until we got to that junction. And then we uh, started, and at, initially at the top of it, it's really nice. We're just traveling through this gentle slope down. Once again, it's just a continuation of the ridge with just these big, broad views. And um, we actually jumped a black bear, which was really cool. I wouldn't say we really jumped him, but he was definitely at a distance trotting along. So anyways, that was really fun. And, um, but as we worked our way down, um, 
it finally, after, I don't know, about half a mile or so, it, uh, it gets steep. And when I say it gets steep, I mean it gets ridiculously steep. And um, if you like to cut switchbacks a lot, this is like your dream because it just basically feels like a cut switchback the entire way down. And um, it starts out in kind of more open areas. And through this whole entire section, there are sparse views. Most people that we talked to had gone up this route because it was the quickest way to go, but nobody was really going down this route. They were going out the other way, which is much more scenic. And I actually, if I had to do it all over again, I just would go up and down the North Fork of the Teton route because it is much nicer. It's prettier, the grade is a lot better. Um, but this is if you wanna go ahead and make for a shorter day. But the whole way down, it's really steep. There's just one little section that is a little bit of a respite through some really pretty aspens. But other than that, it's just, it's just really like a climber's trail. It's super steep and you're just not, the footing's bad, um, but it is a, a, like three miles shorter. So it's, uh, so you get to save some of that. But anyways, uh, choose that if you want to. And I'm just gonna, while I'm talking here, just showing you a bunch of clips of how steep it is. But um, anyways, we are now almost down and um, found a little kind of level spot to record this. And uh, so we're about ready to get down to our car over at Teton Canyon Campground. But overall, amazing views. I really, really like this hike. And like I said, if I was gonna do it all over again, I probably would just walk up the creek and walk back down the creek. But for those of you short on time or just looking for uh, a way to shorten it or just make it really brutal. Um, you can go ahead and do that other way. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with my wife, Kristen, to Table Mountain, um, which is in or on the border of Grand Teton National Park and Jedediah Smith Wilderness. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.